Hey folks, something a little bit different today. Uh, this is, I swear, not a sneaky trick to go get you to sign up to my Patreon because what I'm going to link you to is free. It's stored there because it's nice and simple. So what is it? Well, hopefully the title will have given this away. One of the most common questions that I see when hanging out around the Bolt Action Facebook group or places like it is newcomers to the period asking, what is this piece of equipment? What color is it? What color was it in a certain year? And so forth. Now there are some painting guides, and of course I've done a few myself as well, but something that's lacking from a few of them, and even mine, is context. When did certain things change color and why? So what I wanted to do was put together kind of a, a wargamer's guide, where if you've never painted, say in this case, US infantry from World War II before, you can pick this up, read through it, pick up a few of the paints, and just go. And I, I don't want to say I'll guarantee you, but I'm pretty confident <laughs> that if you follow this, you'll have a nice looking army on the table and it will be historically accurate. And you'll know why. Uh, this has taken quite a bit of research. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that it was accurate because I don't want to put something out into the world and then a few months later have somebody say, well, actually, uh, which happens. And if there are any inconsistencies or mistakes in it, please let me know because I can edit that and then fix the guide and people can come back and download it again, so forth. Now, these are inspired by the McFarnworth guides, which are available over on Artisan Designs. And I'll put a link to those in the description too, because they are likewise super useful. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more context to, to some of the information that's in there, and I hope you'll find it useful. So if you do, please let me know. Like I said, there was a lot of research went into this, and ironically, a 15-minute painting guide, you know, takes me a few hours to do. It's the better part of a day. The research on this took me uh, weeks, and then the writing, and then the, the painting, and the, yeah. Uh, it was a lot more work than I thought it would be. It was pretty satisfying though, and ultimately I am pleased with what is there. So if you find this one interesting, even if you're not painting US infantry, let me know, uh, because next up could be British infantry or one of the 8,000 variations on the German uniforms throughout the period, because I want to try and tackle common things that folks are a little bit put off by. You know, if you are coming to a, an historical period for the first time, you want to get it right. Um, I find that some folks are, are kind of put off by the idea of, oh, I'm going to get told off if it's wrong. And I've got to admit, I've gotten more in the neck from 40k fans about the wrong shade of blue than I ever have from historical fans. But that conception is still there. So I want to make it as easy as possible, if you are interested, to jump in. If those other guys sound interesting, let me know. If you like this one, let me know. If you want to shower me in glittering prizes and drop thousands of dollars on my self, <laughs> I won't complain, but um, you don't have to. All the same, I'd love to see you on the Patreon. So, link to that in the description. It is a PDF that you can download. It is free, I swear. And yeah, Painting video tomorrow. Uh, this is just here because popping these in community links and posts and what have you doesn't seem to get noticed all that well. And I really want to make sure that if this is of use to anybody, it gets seen. So share it with folks who might like it and say hi. Hello. <laughs> it's really hot here, can you tell? <laughs> Anyhow, you folks look after yourselves and enjoy the rest of your day.